Hi guys, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity. And today I'm here in Silhouette Studio and I wanted to bring you an updated tutorial on a blog project and YouTube video that I did a couple years ago. And that was for this pop-up flower card that matches a 3D teapot file that I created and have as a free download in my SVG library on my blog. And I'll just show you a quick glimpse of that. And here's the, the original blog post and the little teapot file. And what I did is I just grabbed that flower from the SVG file and I created the pop-up card. But as I learned more about using some of the tools in Silhouette Studio, I found a better method and I thought I'd share that with you here. I think it's important to remember that we're all still learning something new every day, especially when it comes to this using this software, and that your expertise will only develop further if you get in and you can explore what those various tools do. And so I thought I'd share my updated version of how to do this pop-up card, and I think it's easier than the original version that I did. So I'm going to go up here to my setup panel and I want to um, show my guides and snap to guides and ruler. And I have those on already and I'm just going to bring down a guide. Now this is available in the designer edition and above. And if not, if you don't have these because you're still working in standard edition, you can still use this method. But basically you would just be using your alignment tools to align your score line to the center of your card. Now I'm going to create a rectangle. And in my original design, I'm going to, I did a three and a half by four inch rectangle and so I'm going to unlock my proportions and I'm going to go 3.5 and four inches tall and I'm going to align that to this grid and that automatically you can see the dark blue lines there pops that into that into that vertical and center or middle alignment. And that's not real important yet, but it will be here in a minute. And this is one of the reasons I like that designer edition and above. I have the business edition and I really enjoy using that for a lot of things because of the tools that I have available to me there. So now I have my shadow here, and this is part of the SVG, and I'm just going to have it off to the side, and I'm going to create an offset. So I'm going to open up my offset panel. It's this star with the outline around it, and I'm going to offset, and I'm offsetting that 0 0.05. And you can click Apply, but it's really already there. And now I have my offset of my flower and I can align that right up to that, those guides that I created. And let's zoom in here just a little bit. And this is a little higher than I want, so I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard and just scoot it down a little bit. So now I, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to do some point editing on this. And I'm going to click on it and you can see that that brings up those edit points. And we're going to start creating that pop-up that we have. And let's go in even closer here. And I want to hover over this on that line that I have going through the middle. And you can see you get like a little arrow with a line behind it. And I want to 
create a new edit point right on that edge of that flower where it meets the middle of the card. And then I'm going to break path. And now this other one is really close, so I'm just going to use my arrow key and I'm just going to bring it down slightly. It'll still be fine. And I'm going to break path on that one. Now let's zoom out here. You can see I have those two red dots. And now I'm going to click off of that and I'm going to click on it again. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to release compound path. And now I'm going to be able to take the bottom half of that and delete it. And that's just going to give me the top half and that's going to cut out and um, there's no longer the bottom part of the flower there. So now I'm just going to take this and that slid a little bit. So let's go back here and let's unshow the guides for a second. And I'm going to select all of this and make a compound path. And you can see now that that cutout part has become part of my card. And let's go back here and show our guides again. Now we want to create our score line. And this is the part where if, if you have, um, if you don't have the guides, that's okay. You just have to align your line to the middle of your card using the alignment tools. But I'm going to cr create a line that's 3.5 inches wide. So I'm going to hold down my shift key for my straight line and I'm going to make that 3.5. And again, I could do that over in my transform panel, but we're good. And now I'm going to line that up to those guides that I created. And that's going to put that right in the center and the middle of my card. Now let's go here and turn off those guides again. And you can see that that is in the center of that card, but it is, it isn't a score line yet. And let's, I want to have it on both sides of my flower. So let's go control C, control F, and that's going to give me two copies. And I'm just going to just show you here. It has two copies. I'll undo that. And I'm going to take the top one and I'm going to scoot it over to the outside of my flower. And let's change that to blue and give it the dotted score. And now let's select the other one and scooch it over to the edge of the flower and change it blue and change it to the dotted score. And you can adjust these if you want to. I You can kind of see maybe that this is going into that flower a little bit, so I'm going to back it off a little bit more. And it looks good. I think I'm done here. I'm going to group this. And you can see I would be able to fit my black shadow and my pieces. And this is just an extra little panel that I created. It's not in the SVG part, but it's something that you could do if you wanted to um, make a little extra colorful panel there to put behind your flower. But now you can see that this would fold over and this part would pop up 
and um, if you send this to the send panel you could cut this by line and you could do this out of cardstock plane and the blue could be score and the red could be cut and that would give you your settings if you were using your auto blade of course always remember to do your test cuts first so what do you think those guides make it a whole lot easier don't they that score line worked out just perfectly when we aligned it to those guides using that release compound path took away that bottom part of the pop-up quickly and easily so now all we're left is this little cut line at the top and I just want to show you one more thing if we're going to see how tall our card would be with the pop-up so we could put it like in an envelope or something let's go down here and we're going to grab one of those guides and let's set it at zero zero and let's change our card color to white and it doesn't look anything on the white mat but let's go ahead and you can line it up to that to that line and now let's bring down another one and you can kind of see then from zero zero to 3.062 and you could tell then how tall that card is going to be from the top of that pop-up to the bottom of my card or your card that you make and so um, those guides are really valuable for a lot of different things and so if you have the designer edition and above I urge you to utilize those guides for creating things like this and if you don't have the designer edition or the De designer plus or the business edition I think it's a really great tool to have if you're going to continue to use Silhouette Studio for things and I'll leave a link to where you can purchase those in the description box below and that's it for today guys I hope that you'll take a look at this project and look at that SVG in the SVG library and maybe make that if you do you can share that on in my Facebook group and I'll leave a link for that in the description box below if you like this video be sure to subscribe to my channel as I bring you more tutorials on how to use your cutting machine for your home family friends and special occasions and we'll see you next time bye now